Hey, it's Erin. Are you looking to build bolder shoulders or at least put some width on your shoulders? If so, I have got an excellent workout for you today. Now, what makes this workout so great for shoulders? Couple reasons. We are going to target both the fast and the slow twitch muscle fibers. And just what this means is our fast twitch muscle fibers are responsible for either heavy movements or fast movements. And these muscle fibers typically will develop to be larger than the slow twitch muscle fibers. It's gonna give you a nice athletic look. We're gonna choose some safe exercises to do this on, and we're also gonna hit the slow twitch muscle fibers. And this is the more aerobic muscle fiber, your distance or your endurance muscle fiber. And typically reps of you know 10, 12 to 30 is going to target those slow twitch muscle fibers. As it turns out, the shoulder is about 50-50 fast twitch and slow twitch. So if you're only focusing on explosive movements or heavy movements, then of course you're gonna see some great gains, but you're neglecting those slow twitch muscle fibers, which means you're leaving gains on the table and vice versa. So if you're always doing high rep stuff, expecting growth, it can be a good idea to add in some safe, heavy or fast exercises. Now, another reason why this workout is so effective is that we're focusing both on compound movements, which are excellent for adding overall size, and then we're going to look at our isolation movements, which are really excellent for the icing on the cake, if you will. So if you wanna hit just the rear delts, or if you wanna hit this outer area of the delt and build it up just a little bit more, then your isolation or your single joint movements are gonna be an excellent addition to those compound or multi-joint movements. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out heavy, safe of course, but these compound movements are again, really excellent for adding overall size to not only the shoulders, but you know, you're working chest, you've got some back stabilization, and of course you've got arms working here too. So if your goal is to build overall muscle, your compound movements are excellent. They're also excellent for burning calories too. And of course, functionality. So you're gonna have some core stabilization along with it. Without further ado, let's get in the gym and train for bolder shoulders. Our first exercise is a heavy military press or shoulder press machine. Now I'm choosing a machine for the first exercise. This is because it is safer option. I'm not having to worry about balance or stability like I would with dumbbells or a barbell. Therefore, I'm able to simply focus on lifting heavy and really just getting those reps in. So I don't have to worry about controlling the weight so much. If I happen to fail towards the end of the set, I could always drop the handles and be safe. So this is something to think about if you are training with just dumbbells and you have a spotter, this is an excellent option. Or if you're training at home and you've got dumbbells in a band, this can be another great option. Now for this setup, you wanna make sure that your feet are flat on the floor. This particular machine, I have kind of a hard time getting my feet flat on the floor. You can always think about placing a plate or yoga blocks under your feet if need be. And you wanna think about the starting position with your upper arm at or a little bit below parallel to the floor. And this is going to put you in a, a good pressing position. You want to wrap your thumbs around the bar and the distance between your hands should be about one and a half times shoulder width. You can go a little bit wider if you want, um, but typically that one and a half times shoulder width is a really great distance. You want to think about keeping those wrists nice and straight, keeping your elbows under the handles. This is going to give nice strength and put you in proper pressing form. Now for sets and reps here, you're looking at three to five sets of anywhere between six to 10 reps. You want to think about keeping it in that lower rep range and going as heavy as you safely can. And you want to think about those last few reps being difficult yet doable with proper form. Next, we're gonna move on to the lateral raise heavy partials. This is an exercise that I got from the late great John Meadows. And what you wanna do is you wanna pick a dumbbell that is considerably heavier than you would normally use. So these are in kilos. Uh, typically for me, I might do lateral raise traditionally with five or six kilos per side. With this, you know, you're looking at anywhere between eight to 10 kilos per side. And you really wanna think about the cue of push 
pushing the dumbbells away rather than lifting them up. So I've got feet flat on the floor. I've got a nice core strength here. And I wanna think about again, bringing those dumbbells up in a pushing manner versus pulling them up. You want a slight bend to the elbow and you wanna think about your palms facing each other. Really, really important, you wanna keep that constant tension on the muscle so you don't want to allow the dumbbell to sit when your arm is perpendicular to the floor. You wanna kind of keep it moving. And as far as sets and reps go here, you're looking at three to four sets of 12 to 15 reps. Now the reps are gonna be a little bit higher on this one because of course, we're just doing partials. Next up, we're going to hit some rear delts with face pulls. Now, this is a staple in a lot of my workouts, and I know many people love this particular move for the ability to really target and grow those rear delts. Now, what you want to do is you want to set that cable up to where the cable is right at about between chin and forehead height. And you want to go a little bit lighter on this exercise because it's going to be a little bit higher reps. So three to four sets of, I would say, 12 to 15 reps or so. And you're going to grasp the rope with an overhand grip, step away from the cable, just enough to where you've got that full range of motion, feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in the knees. You wanna have a nice solid foundation to be able to pull from and to be able to keep your body still. So you wanna think about pulling the rope towards your face, exactly like the exercise sounds. And you wanna think about keeping your elbows up for this exercise. And that's why you wanna go a little bit lighter because the rear delt is so small that if you're going heavy and you're dropping your elbows, your lats, your rhomboids, traps, those larger muscles, those stronger muscles are gonna take over. So this is a little bit of finesse here and you know, get that constant tension, get full range of motion. So you wanna make sure that you're extending your arm all the way back to that starting point point and pulling nice and smoothly that rope right to about forehead to nose height. Next up, we're moving on to a cable crossover lateral raise. Now for this exercise, this is an isolation movement. This is simply going to hit those delts and precisely we're looking at targeting those side or medial delts to build width across the upper body. Now you want to put that cable on both sides to the lowest possible setting or a low setting and this is going to really give you a nice range of motion and a nice point to pull from. And with the cable, you want to look at a light weight here. You're keeping constant tension on the muscle. What I like to do is grasp each cable and using an overhand grip. So you want to think about palms facing down and you're going to almost think about pushing the cables away from each other. So again, we're really looking at that cue of pushing versus pulling up. If you think about pulling the cables up, usually your traps are going to take over. They're going to initiate the move, and that's not what we want. We want to think about nice, smooth, almost as if you're opening a door, or even think about a superhero. You're opening your cape, and that move is exactly what you want to feel. A slight bend in the elbow, and you want to keep your rest of your shoulders nice and quiet. So try to keep your shoulders down throughout this exercise. And again, constant tension here with the cable. So you're always going to have a bit of resistance on those delts. Next, we are moving on to bus drivers. Now, this exercise looks like it would be pretty easy. It is actually brutal and it is excellent for hitting slow twitch muscles on the delts. So here I am somewhere in between a 10 pound plate and a 25 pound plate. Now, if you're in a pinch and you are really in between weights, I would recommend just using a dumbbell. So you can use a dumbbell. You can hold each end of the dumbbell in the palm of your hand. Now, if you're doing a plate like I am, you just want to grasp the plate on either side. So you want your, your hands to be directly across from each other. You're going to extend the plate out. Just like a bus driver, you wanna think about turning your hands one way or turning your arms one way, and then kind of steering that plate in the opposite direction. So one side, uh, turning to the right, and then next side turning to the left, and that is one rep. And for this, we're gonna to look to doing two or three sets of pretty much as many reps as you can do here. So this is 
uh, again, going to hit those slow twitch muscles. This is also kind of a, a, a mental exercise in toughness. So, you know, really think about holding the plate or holding that dumbbell and using just your delts to control that turning motion. As you get tired, it's okay if you kind of pull that plate in just a little bit, shorten that lever just a little bit, can make it a little bit easier and help you get just a few more reps in. Lastly, we're moving into our finishing exercise, and this is a band pull apart. This is one of my favorite finishers. This is going to go ahead and hit the delts, primarily those rear delts. So we're really focused on building all three heads of the delt and focusing on the side or the medial and the rear delt specifically. The front delt does get quite a bit of work in many other exercises. So it's not, not our focus for today necessarily. So with that band pull apart, you want to get a nice light to medium tension band. You're going to grasp it with an overhand grip. And then I want you to think about just pulling that band apart. So you're going to do two to three sets of as many reps as you can. Thinking about keeping your elbows up just like you would in that face pull and really think about pulling that band apart and then releasing, but keeping constant tension. So this is an exercise where you want to feel the muscle working through the entire set. Let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see next and let me know what your favorite shoulder exercise is for growth. I think my current two favorites are the heavy military press and I love those lateral raise partials. It's really excellent, kind of gets you out of your comfort zone and gives you a phenomenal pump. So again, let me know what you'd like to see next. And also, if you're tired of stringing together workout videos to get a workout program, check out my website. I've got a ton of 90 day programs that are just basically plug and play. So all you would do is you would open up your phone and you've got a workout every day to take with you. And most of the programs are 90 days and they are based on progression. So again, it takes the guesswork out of it. And if you go to the link below, you can sign up and get a free workout program program called Foundation to Fit. It's an at-home workout program, but it gives you an idea as to how the workouts are generally structured for the 90-day programs. That's it for this time. Until next time, train smart and train hard, y'all.